In this video, I'll break down some really cool, unique effect ideas that you can create using the magnetic mask effect in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're looking for some really cool plugins and presets, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. The link is down in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on this video, and I'll show you to create these really cool effects. The first effect is this really cool, like, sticker peel effect. So we have clip number one and then clip number two. Now, what you want to do is you want to play Place clip number two on top of clip number one and you want to find the place where you want to go ahead and actually create the effect. So let's say we want the effect to be created up until this point. Select this clip and click on command B to blade this clip. So this is just a section that we're going to be creating the effect. What you want to do is you want to head over here to the effects panel, scroll down until you find mask and keying, and scroll down until you find the magnetic mask and apply it onto your clip. Then we can go ahead and just simply select on the actual subject and we can go ahead and just keep on adding more to the actual subject. Now you can go ahead and zoom in and get a more refined selection. So you can go through and we can go to the paintbrush right here and we can just and we can like we can like take this slider and move it down. We can go ahead and just remove some of this if we want to. So just kind of take the minus tool and minus it out. Or we can head over here to this tool and we can go ahead and just minus a little bit of this out. So we're gonna head over here back to fit. So you can go through and kind of like with the brush tool and really refine everything. And once you have everything to your liking, go ahead and click on analyze. And as you can see, now it's going to track the subject. All you have to do is click on done right here. And there you go. Now you have the subject completely masked out. In order to create this really cool effect, what you want to do head over here to the effects panel and we will scroll down until you find the category the ultimate bundle. Now this is for sale on my website. All you want to do is find the page girl effect, apply the effect onto the actual clip. Now in this case we're going to go from direction and we're going to select this and go to close and now you can go through and adjust all the different settings until you get the look that you want. But as you can see, see there we go. Now we can just like and kind of like mess with the different directions of where we want the page curl to actually happen. So let's say you want to have it slide on right here. And we can go back as you can see now you've changed the direction. So there you go. Now you've created this really cool like page curl effect, sticker peel effect. So if we play the video right here, now you have this really cool like sticker peel um, freeze frame transition. The next effect I want to go over is this really cool like outline effect. So we have this clip right here. What we're going to do is we're going to select on and hold down the option key and just simply duplicate this clip. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to apply the magnetic mass. So head over to the effects panel find the category mass and keying and apply the magnetic mask effect onto the clip. Then we can go ahead and just simply select on the subject and again you can go through and zoom in like 200, 400 percent and you can either like add more points with this button, subtract more points or you can head over here to the brush tool and go ahead and just refine. So if you go ahead and select right here you can go and again adjust the slider and we can like remove some of this if we don't want to but just for the sake of the tutorial we'll just leave it how it is so go back to fit and once you kind of use the brush tool and the points tool to make sure you completely have the subject selected again all you want to do is click on analyze and final cut will go ahead and track this subject and now we can go ahead and just click on done and now we can go ahead and just disable the bottom clip and as you can see the subject is completely um, cut out. So it's just really quick and really easy. Now we can go ahead and just enable the bottom clip. Now we can do is we can select on this. We can go ahead and click on right click, hide magnetic mask editor. We can go ahead and just simply duplicate um, the cutout. Now on the cutout what you want to do is head over here to the effects panel and again go to the ultimate bundle. Now what you want to do is you want to either apply the outer glow effect or you want to apply the stroke effect. So if we apply the stroke effect right here onto this clip, as you can see, now you have an outline around the subject. So we can go ahead and increase the width, we can go ahead and adjust the color. So as you can see, now you have this really cool like outline around the subject. Now if you want to kind of do what I did in the intro, we can go ahead and kind of just adjust a whole bunch of different settings. So we can go ahead over to offset, so we place a keyframe on offset and then go forward to wherever where you want it. So maybe right here, we want to just keyframe the offset so as you can see, 
we can go ahead and just simply increase the offset. So you can see now you have the actual like you know outline kind of like growing and you can go ahead and create like multiple copies and do a whole bunch of different things but this is just kind of like the basic idea of how to create that really cool outline effect. The next effect I'll go over is this really cool like mixed media effect. So again head over here to the effects panel find mask and keying, apply the magnetic mask onto the actual subject, go ahead and select the subject, and now we can go ahead and add more points until we have the subject. So let's go over here to the minus tool, we don't want this selected, and maybe something like this. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe let's zoom in a little more just to refine it, so we can go through. And again, I'm going really quick just for the sake of the tutorial, but I think that looks pretty good. Maybe you want to go to the brush tool right here and we want to add a little more. So I think that looks pretty good. Now I think that, I think that should look good just for the sake of the tutorial. Now we can click on analyze and now we have the subject completely cut out. So there we go, the subject is completely cut out. Now we want to go ahead and add those really cool mixed media. So let's go ahead and just right click hide magnetic mask editor. We can go ahead and just duplicate this clip. We can go to the bottom one and just simply delete the magnetic mask. Now in order to add these really cool like uh, mixed media effects, what you want to do is you want to find an image you want to use. So in this in this, in this example, I'm just going to go really quickly. So let's say we want to use this image. Let's use this image as kind of like the background image. So we're going to go forward like one, two, three frames and go ahead and just trim it. And let's go ahead and just zoom this background image up. And let's go ahead and just trim this image just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go forward one, two, three, and then place a marker. And then we're going to take the another the second image right here and place it right here. So we're going to go ahead and let's just go ahead and just simply trim um, this image. Now what you want to do is head over here to titles and generators and you want to find the category the creator bundle. This is also on my website. Apply the paper of overlay on top of the actual photo. Now we're going to go ahead and just trim it. Now you may think to yourself, wait a minute, I only get one paper of overlay, but actually if you head over here and we scroll down, you have a total of 11 different. So as you can see, you can go through and kind of shuffle through the ones that you want. So let's say you want to use paper rip um, 10. Now what you want to do is you want to select on this and hold down the option key to duplicate it. Now what you want to do is you want to select on this one. Let's just go ahead and disable this one. So select on this layer, go over here, blend mode, change to stencil alpha. Now we can go ahead and select on this photo and now we can just increase the scale and adjust the um, adjust the actual position. Now we can go through and select the top one and the photo, click option G and click on number one or rename it whatever you want. Now we can go ahead and select on this one, re-enable it and change the blend mode to screen. And there you go, now we can select it again and create a compound clip 1.2 and there you go now you have this really cool photo in this paper rip, and now we can move it below and then as you can see now you have this really cool paper effect where this is really cool mixed media and the subject is in front of it now you can go ahead and just take those steps and just keep repeating it to create as many paper rip overlays as you want. Now the next effect I want to go over is using these really cool transitions in tandem with the magnetic mask. So as you can see here is a clip that I want to use. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and hold down the option key and I want to just simply duplicate it. Now in this example I created a marker. So what I basically did was I skipped forward 15 frames. So as you can see we're just going to skip forward 15 frames. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this right here. Now you want to make sure that this clip, this, the, this, um, this section right here ends exactly right here. So basically we're just going to take this section and cut it out. So we're going to go ahead and move this over here and basically now we have to trim this part. So it's going to be this section right here. That's how we created the marker. So go ahead and trim it. So that way this completely lines up. I know that might be a little confusing but if you see right here now the clip completely lines up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select on this clip, head over here to the mask and keying, apply the magnetic mask and go ahead and just simply select on the subject and we can go ahead and there we go. Now again you can go through and adjust it to fine tune it. We'll go ahead and this, for the sake of the tutorial we'll just leave it how it is and then click on analyze and now we have the subject track 
um, tracked, click on done, and there you go. Now you have the subject completely um, cut out. We can go ahead and just hide the magnetic mask editor. Now we can go ahead and apply a transition. So head over here, and let's say we want to apply from my Essential Transitions V2, Ink Bleed 3. So let's apply the ink bleed onto this actual clip right here. Then we can go ahead and delete the end transition, and we can select the start, and we can go ahead and just adjust the duration. So now, as you can see, you have this really cool like ink effect. See where the, the subject kind of just slowly like fades on, and because we lined up the clips correctly, as you can see, see it plays out perfectly fine. So if we play right here, now you have this really cool um, transition. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, go ahead and check out my website, wingansmedia.com. Link is down in the description below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.